I'm assuming you remember that one scene in uh, The Phantom Menace when uh, Palpatine is making his speech in front of, you know, the whatever, the auditorium thing with all the round, floaty, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, for sure. The Senate yes. thing? Yes. And there's that one scene where they're scanning through the crowd and, and you see E.T.'s. Right. Did you know? <laughs> did you know that E.T. from the movie E.T. I can't. Was a Jedi youngling that was left behind on Earth. And think about it. We, we know now that E.T.'s are canon in the Star Wars world. So mm. we now know that the movie E.T. is part of the Star Wars universe. Mm. And E.T. can move shit with his mind. Mm-hmm. Friendly Canadian Geek Pool says E.T. is a Jedi. I know. He is. I disagree. So E.T. is a Jedi youngling that was oh. left behind. And uh, it's not actually his race that come and get him. It's the Jedi at the end of the movie that come and get him. No. Uh, to bring him back to the Jedi Temple because he's just a little youngling, right? He's a little baby Yoda, but he's a little baby E.T. So here's the problem. If he's an actual Jedi youngling, why didn't Anakin kill him? Because it seems to be what he really likes to do. Well, maybe he did. Maybe you think he was in the temple when Jedi went in, when Anakin went in there? If that's the case, I'm down with that theory. Here's so when I guess, all right, so let's just say that is the case. When Order 66 happens, does that entire race get wiped out? Well, not necessarily the entire race, but when Order 66 happens, he probably gets killed with the other Jedi. Okay. I can, I can get on board this theory. I'm not going to shit on this one the way I shit on your Doc Brown as the doctor. That's, that's <laughs> horse So this shit. one you like. This one's not bad. The The problem is, is he only showed a bit of telekinesis. So I guess, yeah, I get it. So I think if the Mandalorian show never happens, if we never really see Grogu in that particular, like, uh, arena, I think this theory probably doesn't come into play. But now that we've seen what a Jedi youngling kind of looks like, it's really just based on like a little bit of telekinesis and not a whole lot else. I could buy it. I don't know what the whole glowy finger and the fucking neck thing is going on. I don't know what that's about, but I mean... You well, know. I mean, that's just their race, right? I mean, who knows? Yeah. I mean, it's like, how much do we know about Yoda and his race, right? I think once he got back and told them that we have Reese's Pieces, though, then they all would have come here. Wait, 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 hold on. No, this doesn't work. Wait, 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 this doesn't work. Why? This doesn't work. Because it happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. A long time ago. Yeah, but what says far, far that away. the Earth that E.T. No, was on no. is our Earth and our timeline? We're looking at, you and I are viewing it, and it says a long time ago in a galaxy far, far yes. away. Yes. I mean, this bullshit timeline thing. But you're this also looking Marvel. at E.T. You're this not, isn't we're not. Marvel. We're not fucking multiverse in this bullshit. <laughs> Don't give me that. No, it cannot be. It's a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. If I had a microphone other than the one here, I would drop it. Boom. I like Victoria the says, boom, that's right. <laughs> the timelines do not match up. I'm sorry, guys. E.T. is not a Jedi. He's just a weird dude that likes Reese's Pieces and has a glowy finger and a weird neck. <laughs> and a weird oh, neck, yes. Yeah, so you have oh, you neck. almost had him, J.S. That's right. I, was, I, was on the cusp, <laughs> I, I, I know. I, I almost like, had him. Oh, I'm so close. And I'm like, hey, no, it doesn't line up. All right. Well, continue. staying on the, uh, the Jedi train, mm. did you know? <laughs> this has just become can JS convince Jeff? <laughs> You're not wrong. Maybe his finger could be the lightsaber. Yeah, there you go. His fingers is lace turns into his lightsaber. Dumbest episode ever. Uh, did you know that Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi was in fact Jake Skywalker? <laughs> now, here's the theory. Good old in Jake. the in the Tron trilogy. Um, Thrawn, Thrawn trilogy. It's okay. Uh, Palpatine somehow gets his hands on, funny enough, Luke's hand. So for those of you that have been living under a rock for the last 40 years and haven't seen The Empire Strikes Back, Vader cuts Luke's hand off. It falls with his lightsaber. Spoiler alert. Falls with his lightsaber down the, I don't know, through Cloud City. I figured it would just have ended somewhere. I don't know. 
I don't know where it fell, but somehow Palpatine ends up with that hand and actually creates a cloak of Luke. He creates an evil Luke clone. He creates an evil Luke clone uh, to eventually take Luke's place. Um, which does not happen, by the way. Which does not happen. No. The theory is is that this specific Luke that we see that's you know hiding on whatever Terrible. stupid planet he's on. Awful. Um, that would be the clone Luke mm. hiding out there. And mm. then when she shows up, well, then he just plays the part, right? Because, I mean, why not? Right. Uh, but really, the real Luke is still in hiding somewhere. Yeah. So <laughs> we hated the Luke Skywalker in, in The Last Jedi so much yeah. that we're now saying... <laughs> Yep. That it's not actually Luke Skywalker. Yep. It's a clone of Correct. Luke Skywalker. So my buddy Bobby there, Vardo Dives, is yeah, saying... He says, exactly, I hope that's true. It is exactly what I said Bobby, to him earlier today. it is true. That's I the way I see it. Wishful thinking, it is not, in fact, that's a terrible theory. Says well, Tanith. Tanith is never on my side, and Tanith even says that's a terrible theory. As far as I'm concerned, that is now canon for me. Luke Skywalker <laughs> uh, in The Last Jedi is not uh, the real Luke Skywalker uh, and is, in fact, a clone uh, of Luke Skywalker. Nothing. Uh, and, and that's nothing. why he can't even count. He can't even count. Because he tell, tells Ray, I'm going to give you three lessons, and he only gives her two. Well, so, yeah. Nothing would make me happier if that was the case, because as Mark Hamill said himself, this is not Luke Skywalker. This is a completely different character that I'm willing to play because you're going to give me a paycheck and I'm happy to do that. But mm -hmm. um, here's the problem, kids. Where is Luke? Well, that's a very good question, because uh, <laughs> if he's not dead, where the fuck was he when all this was I going mean, down? His sister dies, and he doesn't even bother to fucking show up. No, this so is what I don't saying. know. You're right, I, and that's I where think, that's where my issue with this theory is, and it's exactly it, that. It's it where does, the hell was yeah, he? Yeah, it does kind you of know? fall apart a little bit. Like, so, yeah. and when would the switch have taken place? Like, well, I don't think there would have been an actual switch as much as. Who they find is just not the real Luke. Who they find is the clone Luke. The real Luke, okay. Luke is just so somewhere else. The Luke we're seeing on the Mandalorian is that Luke, Luke, or is that Jeff Luke? In my mind, that is Luke, Luke. That is Luke, Luke. Okay. Yeah, that's not Jeff. That's, that's not Jeff saying. Skywalker. Luke. That's Luke Skywalker. <laughs> there's there's got to be a moment. Yeah. Where Luke is no longer accessible, and then we get Jeff instead. Yeah. And Jeff, like, well, but Luke disappears, right? Luke runs away after the events of right. trying to kill his nephew. Right, right, right. Which was. Terrible. Stupidest oh. thing I've ever heard. But anyway. So, so dumb. So, um, so dumb. You know, when George Lucas calls his movie... Look, I, I get that the first movie when it came out, it wasn't A New Hope. It was Star Wars. But when they went back and renamed it A New Hope, A New Hope is Luke. Of course. He's the hope. Absolutely. You know? So how are you going to make... First of the new Jedi in... Yeah, however long, right? So anyway, I don't want to this. I didn't want this to become a a, a last Jedi rant, but God damn it, let's rant about the last Jedi. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm on your side. This is the only thing I'm going to agree with you on in this entire podcast. Fuck the last Jedi. It's terrible. Fuck everything about it. Oh, sorry. Uh, what if Luke knew he was cloned? Well, that's a good point, actually. What if he knew he was cloned, and that's why he's in hiding? So right. when do we come out of hiding? When Palpatine returns? No. When your nephew is killed? No. When your best friend Han Solo is killed? No. When your sister's killed? No. So what's he doing? Sipping mimosas on a beach somewhere? Going, fuck the universe? I'm just going to do my shit? Like, come on, man. That's yeah, Luke no. Skywalker. Thanks for watching this Geek Boutique podcast snippet. If you'd like to listen to the full episode, head on over to either geekboutique.podbean.com or your favorite podcast platform of choice. Please make sure you click that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to also click that notification bell. That way you'll make sure you never miss an upload. But that'll be it for today. Stay geeky, everybody. I'll see you next time.